Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. Jumping right into some shout outs for this week. Our first shout out goes out to all of the students at Coolidge and Birch Meadow who participated in the uh, Hour of Code. So we had some uh, leaders from Coolidge go over to our fourth and fifth grade Birch to teach the students about coding. Uh, you'll see some photos in the written newsletter, but thank you for all of those students for their mentorship and also the lesson on coding. Next up, a big shout out goes out to Lucia Kalianitis, who is a the Project 351 ambassador, the representative of Coolidge Middle School and also representative of Reading. Uh, Lucia was selected uh, through her commitment to being an upstander, for her kindness to others, and for involvement in so many aspects of the uh, Coolidge community. She demonstrates an active commitment to make Coolidge a better place, thereby earning this nomination. Uh, and she'll represent Coolidge at the Project 351 Summit in Boston on January 13th, and will also participate in a community service project this spring. So congratulations to Lucia, very well done. And next up goes out to all the students involved in the uh, World of Difference mentorship at Parker this past week. So some of the students from our RMHS, A World of Difference, or AWOD, visited Parker Middle School's No Place for Hate group. Uh, some of the four students who came over from the high school were Ali Zercher, Miles Lakin, Gianna Gagliardi, and Alana DeRoquez. Uh, thank you for your work and going over and your mentorship. They worked with the group to facilitate some activities around identity and discuss the need for and the challenges around creating safe and inclusive spaces in our schools. Uh, both those programs are uh, do an amazing job and show tremendous leadership in our school community. So thank you to A World of Difference and also to No Place for Hate. Jumping to some updates this week. So our first updates around the Killam School Building Community Meeting. As the community knows, we're moving into the design phase of the MSBA uh, Killam School Building Project. Anyone in the Reading community uh, is welcome to join us on January 13th for a community meeting uh, to offer feedback as we begin this design process. On January 11th from 5.15 to 6.45 p.m. in the Killam Cafeteria, Anyone in the community is welcome to come who wants to have their voice heard as part of this visioning and brainstorming process. We hope to see many of you there. A, um, a agenda for that session is in the written newsletter. Next up around kindergarten registration. If you have a child eligible for kindergarten this year or know anyone in your neighborhood or the community eligible for kindergarten uh, for 24-25, you'll see some of the materials in the written newsletter this week, uh, including a flyer which shares information about a virtual information session and kindergarten registration night. Uh, if you have any uh, need any have any other additional questions, there's also an email address in the written newsletter. Next up, SOCA for EJI fundraiser. RMHS's Students of Color and Allies for Equity, Justice, and Inclusion are uh, launching a shirt fundraiser, which is going on for a couple of more days. There's a link in the written newsletter to purchase a sweatshirt and support the organization. They do a great job and show tremendous leadership at RMHS. So consider uh, buying a sweatshirt or a shirt and supporting the organization. And last but not least, community education. Uh, just is launching a survey to families to ask what types of uh, enrichment programs would be of interest to them and to their students. Uh, please complete the survey in the written newsletter. It'll help shape some of the future of community ed here in Reading. As always, we hope that you have a wonderful weekend. We hope they have a wonderful holiday break in the holidays. Uh, and as always, go Rockets.